Welcome to Nifty 50 Photographers and in today's video I'm going to talk about my first week of living with the Sony a7R5. Getting a new camera is always exciting but uh, it's also a little bit daunting. You've got all those new functions to play with and you've got a new menu system to get to grips with. Now I've upgraded from a Sony a7 III so I was familiar with Sony's sort of menu layout a bit but they have changed that completely in this camera and uh, so I have had some fun trying to get to grips with that. But after a week of using it I can honestly say I'm loving the image quality and uh, let me share with you some of the images I've taken this week. I've shot about 200 photos so not very many, still very much on the learning curve, but have been able to produce what I think some lovely images. These are mainly landscape shots, and if there's any you really love, you can purchase a print from my Etsy shop, and I'll leave a link in the description below. So first of all, let's talk about the flip out screen. Now I must admit, I do love this. It's a major improvement over the A7 III. I can now see it when I'm cramped into corners so I can twist it into any angle. But one of the bonuses I didn't really appreciate before I used it was you can use it in portrait mode. So if you've got your camera in a portrait format, you can flip the screen down so it's in a portrait format as well and you've got a nice way of seeing the image you're taking much better than the old system it's also very bright it's very clear and on a sunny day i found that uh, it's still very easy to read and see the screen very happy with that so one of the reasons i bought this camera was particularly to take landscape images with bracketed focus now that's basically setting up a stack of images where you focus on slightly different points from the foreground to the background to produce a totally sharp image. Now it works best with wide angle lenses when you've got something very close in your foreground, maybe 30 centimeters away or, or a foot. And then the camera will focus on different points further back into the middle ground and background. Now, a word of warning here, when you're stacking quite a lot of images, and I'm just blending these in Photoshop, you do end up with a huge file size, about four gigabytes, so you have to make sure you've got a decent computer to handle that. But the other bonus I noticed was, when I was playing around with this, occasionally I chose a subject that was very close in the foreground, in fact, too close, for the lens to be able to focus on it. But that didn't seem to phase the A7R5. It just carried on focusing and it focused on th the nearest thing it could find that was a little bit further back that the lens would focus on. And it still produced a beautiful set of bracketed images. And I just discarded that first image that was, was completely out of focus and was still able to stack it and produce a great image in the end. Now, let me show you an example. This is uh, one where I chose this rock as a foreground subject and you've got the hills and mountains in the background there beyond the, beyond the tarn. And I did this really just to test how well it worked. It's not that most exciting image. In fact, I changed the sky as you can see in this final image. But if we look through, you can see how the image is sharp from the very things in the foreground right to the very background. Now, while we're talking about focusing, another fantastic feature of this camera is its focus tracking. I've always struggled a bit with Sony cameras and their focusing systems. I've often been caught out and felt that it was never quite as good that the, from the Nikon that I upgraded to. But finally with this camera, I feel like the focusing system is absolutely brilliant. It's really nailed it. Here's a few shots of my dog, Obi. I've set uh, the camera to animal detection and he's not going very fast admittedly, but uh, it's managed to focus track him all the way through this series of images, keep his uh, head nice and sharp. Now when I read the reviews, a lot of people talked about how great the upgraded menu system is. And I have to say, it is easier to navigate. You can now use things like the command wheels to scroll up and down the menus, which makes navigating a lot faster. But I still struggle a bit with this menu system. I still don't think it was as easy and as natural in layout as the old Nikon one I used to use. I have to scroll through a lot of menus to find the very thing I want to find. What I end up doing is putting them in a custom menu so that I can find them quickly. But that said, it's a definite upgrade on the a7 III. It is easier to get around and it's definitely quicker to use. And the other thing I really appreciate is Sony's changed the layout of some of the buttons. 
The record button for video is now on top of the camera, which is much easier to find, especially when you're filming things like vlogs and you're filming yourself and you don't have to reach now behind the camera and just try and do it by feel. You can see it straight off on the top. That's a big bonus. The other thing I like is they put a lock on the main command dial. That way you don't accidentally knock it from one function to another. That's a real nice feature. They've also changed some of the layout of where you do things like uh, slow motion filming and so on. They're uh, on a separate dial. And the uh, exposure compensation dial also has a little lock on it and uh, it's, a, it's a separate function button. So that's also nice, really find that makes the camera a little bit easier to use and I'm sure the more I come to terms with it, the better I'll like that. Overall, I haven't really found anything that I dislike about the camera, apart from the menu system, but the menu system was like that on the old one, and I have to say it has improved, so can't really count that against it. So that's my first week with the Sony A7R5. If you want to follow my journey of with it, I'll make some more videos and uh, so make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell for notification when I release a new video. I'm looking forward to doing some more photo shoots, perhaps some street style stuff where I can really take advantage of the focus tracking. Bit interesting to see how it gets on with that. I'm quite excited about having a go with that. So thanks for watching and if you want to watch something next, do have an unboxing video on the uh, A7R5 and I'll leave a link to that up here somewhere. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Go out and have some fun with your camera.